Thanks for joining us on 9 News Plus. I'm Chris Bianchi. This week, Adidas ended their partnership with Ye, the artist formerly known as Kanye West. The rapper is facing intense scrutiny over weeks of offensive and anti-Semitic comments and social media posts. Those comments got him locked out of his Twitter and Instagram accounts, and it also prompted a slew of companies to cut ties with him. Adidas said that it does not tolerate hate speech and it will no longer sell items from his Yeezy brand. Earlier this week, Kim Christensen talked to Scott Levin, the regional director of Colorado's Anti-Defamation League, about the comments and the impact that they've had on the Jewish community. Joining us today is the regional director of Colorado's Anti-Defamation League, Scott Levin. Joining us, thank you, Scott. Thank you. Your reaction, the ADL's reaction to something like this and, and adding to this conversation that is so disturbing. It is just so disappointing because what's going on right now is the normalization of anti-Semitism. And for somehow, or for some reason, Jew hatred seems to not draw the same kind of ire or disapproval that so many other forms of hatred do. It's, it's, it's shocking and it's become, it feels like, more frequent. It is. Here in Colorado, we've had an ever-increasing amount of anti-Semitic incidents year over year. Our office is being contacted on a near daily basis, not just for anti-Semitism, but also racism, homophobia, anti-trans, uh, everything seems to just be so much more out in the open right now. So I would, I would guess that the fact that people contact you is a good thing. You do need to know about these things. Absolutely. But it's overwhelming. It can be, but I think, look, we're never going to cure this disease of hatred or anti-Semitism that takes place. But we, what we really like is for those haters to crawl back under the rocks where they used to be. Right, right now, when they were feeling, scared to do that, right? That's right. Right now they're emboldened. They're emboldened by people who, like this celebrity who opens his mouth. And when you say things like death con three to the Jews, or you rely on old stereotypes and tropes, to do it, these have real consequences in the real world. These are the kind of things that led to the attacks on synagogues in Pittsburgh and Poway. Mm. Last year, uh, when there was a hostage taken in Colleyville, Texas, it was because of the trope believing that Jews somehow controlled the world and could free somebody across the world that they went and took hostages during a, a Sabbath morning service. It, and it, it just, it's so upsetting and nothing sacred, people's, and the belief system. But when you look at somebody like this that has all these Twitter followers, yeah. that has to be upsetting even on different levels. Oh, it is. Uh, I looked before I came over here today, and Kanye has something like 31 and a half million Twitter followers. That's more than twice the amount of Jews in the entire world. And as these kind of ugly things are spread, around the world that he says it has a real impact in the real world. It doesn't matter all the pushback because it really only takes one person to really start believing this and doing something, a, a serious act. Absolutely, but I think it's important that we do all speak out against it right yes. now. You know, the fact that Adidas is about to release a new shoe that's designed by, Con by Ye's company and they're doing it on the anniversary of the shooting in Pittsburgh is just disgusting. So we can say something about that. That's what we should do. Right? Absolutely. At www.adl.org you can go on and you can actually sign something, a hashtag runaway from hate, which will be sent to Adidas to let them know how you feel about this despicable kind of conduct that Ye has done. So that, I guess, is the, the takeaway from this. Is, is, as upsetting as it is, we can all be involved in the right way and make some change. That's absolutely. We have to use our own voices to speak against hate. In America, we know the First Amendment lets people say terrible, ugly things. But we all have our own First Amendment rights, and we need to use them. All the time. Thank you, Scott. Thanks Thank for you. joining us.